Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man for the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, don't think I mentioned it, but I'm playing the PlayStation 2 version. Uh, I kind of hate the GameCube version. I had the GameCube version for a while, because uh, it does come with one slight difference, one extra that the PlayStation 2 doesn't have. But in my opinion, it wasn't worth it because the the buttons were reversed. So the button you think should be fire was actually jump and vice versa, and I hated it. So I switched to the PlayStation ver 2 version, and I'm much happier for it. Anyway, we're continuing on. We defeated Alec Man last time, and now it's time for Ice Man, who seems to be very unhappy. But that's well, what are you gonna do? Maybe I'd be happy, uh, unhappy too if I was stuck in, like, the Antarctic. And there are frozen palm trees in the Antarctic, I guess. If indeed that's where he was. And this stage has, uh, one of the things that I just... One of the things in, in video games, period, that I just can't stand. And that's ice figure. Ice... Physics, not figgets. <laughs> um, and the thing is, Mega Man slips around a bit as it is, but with the ice physics, it's a million times worse. And those penguins aren't much help either. But fortunately, there's some health here that we can get. So no bigs. But here you can see major sliding and again here we have the return of the um, disappearing blocks this one's not too terribly bad once you remember the pattern which took a while the next one is a pain in the butt so I'm just gonna use magnet beam to skip it I'm also going to use Magnet Beam to skip past this section because it's also a pain in the butt. Oh god, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. Go away, I don't want to see you. There we go. Oh, but I'll take that. Okay. to the right, then the next one, then wait, and we're through. And again, time for a magnet beam, and I made it, okay good. And again, I'm going to do the same thing, because this area, as my friend Alan would say, sucks booty. But, if you have the Magnet Beam, it's much easier. Um, that one up is kind of... Oh, gosh. I was going to say, it's almost kind of impossible to get, but I managed to get it. So, hooray for me. And there's some extra goodies here if you want them. I don't really need to recharge my Magnet Beam, but I'm going to anyway. And at this point, we just have one more thing to deal with. And thank goodness I finally was able to get underneath him. And we're at the, the boss gate already. And this is one of the best areas to refill your health if you need to. Because there's an endless stream of penguins. And you can just sit here and fire away. And they'll just run into your shots. And you'll be perfectly safe from them. But we're already at full health. So what's the point? Let's move on to Iceman. Iceman is weak to the elect beam, and I totally missed him somehow. And again, I totally missed him, but he only takes three shots from the elect beam. And that's the thing with Mega Man, uh, this first one, is all the robot masters take massive damage from their weaknesses. And some of them actually take uh, a little extra damage from your regular shots, too. As you saw when we fought Cutman. So, the bosses aren't too terribly bad in this game. Anyway, we're done with Iceman. 
Five down, one to go. Fireman, your time is upon you. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man.